Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my little degenerates. It's your boy, Mrs. Degenerate, back at it again for another video. And mm, 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 mm. I, I, I want to give a huge, huge shout outs to Lord the Front. Uh, she is the showrunner to uh, HBO, The Penguin. Uh, everyone's been giving my boy Matt Reeves, um, like, mad props and talking about he made the penguin the fucking most epic show but nah sorry let's raise a glass for my girl bro raise a glass put out the fucking big ass cigars for this for this champion like she she's the fucking goat all right she's the fucking queen bro like uh shantani that's all i gotta say is shantani this this show bro <laughs> this show holy shit i was i was on my way coming back from japan uh and i sat down and watched all eight episodes of the penguin and holy shit this is a good ass show all right this is a uh, one of if not the best uh, fucking DC shows slash fucking comic book shows of all time. Like, this will go down in history as one of the best comic book shows of all time. Like, this shit is so fucking good. And, and you know, the thing I love so much about this show is that the showrunner, she completely does something unique with the comic book genre which is something i've been dying for something i've been waiting for for a long time which is let the villains be villains i, I feel like we live in this day and age in you know comic book films and, and tv shows where we want to make all of our villains like sympathetic and like heroic but also kind of misunderstood and you want to sympathize with them and we see that with so many of the like the sony verse fucking movies like venom even though that's a probably a poor example we see that with craven the hunter the next craven the hunter movie is like coming out we see that with so many of these uh like super villain shows is like they try to make you sympathize and understand where the villain is coming from <laughs> And almost turning them into anti-heroes. And the penguin comes out and says, no, that's not how this is going to work. Like, we're not going to make you sympathize or empathize with our main protagonist, uh, Penguin. Uh, Oswald is a piece of shit. <laughs> In fact, this is the story of a monster rising to power. What happens when you give someone who's manipulating and someone dis -derange power and it is a spectacle seeing this fucking character move like it is truly a great spectacle and colin farrell bro son if you thought he was good in the, in in the batman like he did pretty good in the batman you're like damn he's so good and here he is like like damn he is like killing it bro he is killing it and i think the thing i love about you know his character is that he is really really just the smooth talking guy that's like tr like trying to convince you on his side he, he talks about he's the man of the people uh at the the first episode gives you everything you need to know about fucking oswald like this man is is rootless he'll talk to you he'll make you feel like like he you're the shit and he'll give this really sob and beautiful story that makes you really fall in love with him but anytime you 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 fucking say anything that's like disrespectful or he just doesn't align with him he will he will fucking murder you all right he will murder you anytime he gave a speech anytime he talked to people it was always you could tell at the moment he meant what he said but if he sees a better opportunity he's gonna fucking betray you there's a great scene in one of the episodes where he's talking to Sophia, uh, Sophia uh, uh, the Falcone one of the Falcone uh, members and he literally uh, says to her you know 
gives this sob story about like why he had to betray her and it's so heartfelt i was like man like this is really heartfelt and really emotional uh talking about like you know someone like him who has a disability uh really you, you ever think that he could make it and the way how he talks and way how he presents himself is like damn like you really feel for him but literally a few minutes later he fucking betrays her <laughs> he literally sets her up and it's like wow i think that was the moment where i was like this guy's a fucking monster and throughout the whole series he's just doing shit where one minute he's talking and he, he sounds like the most prideful person ever as someone you want to root behind but then you know in the next minute he does something that's like what the fuck or it makes you question him all the same and it's like wow and then when you get to his backstory you know you know you you automatically feel for him because you're like oh man like he's taking care of his mom his mom is kind of sick it's the typical trope of like oh the mom is sick so you know we kind of have to root for her but when you find out the origin of his backstory holy shit he's like a fucking monster and this monster was always there in him this monster this 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 fucking piece of shit <laughs> that he is was always there uh the simple fact that he was always wanting this attention even from his mom the simple fact that he got rid of his brothers just so he could have his mom all to himself I forget, I think that's called the Oedipus Complex. It's so disturbing. It's like, what? And you're like, huh. And even when there's one episode later on, when his mom says like, yo, I know the fucking truth. I know that you killed um, your brothers. He's so in denial. I was like, I, w I was like taken aback by how deluded this character is and it's like again it's so good to have a show where we just have the main antagonist or the main character it's just a piece of shit there is nothing redeeming about him yeah he may talk his shit and he may talk all fancy and, and he may and there's moments where you know he's talking to uh, vic oh vic oh lord you know you 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 root for him in a, a little bit Man, he always does something that is like, what the fuck? It's just so brutal. And and, and that's the that's the beauty of this show is that it's unwillingness to you know hold your hand and let you like sympathize. They let you sympathize a little bit, but always constantly reminding you, you know, that you know, he's a villain. <laughs> and in any other show they would have had at one point after the reveal of like oh he killed his brothers you know they would have had you sympathize and be like man you would have had him sit down and be like oh i i, I up to this day i still regret that i killed my 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 fucking brothers up to this day i still feel sad that my brothers died and that i couldn't save them or you know i couldn't do this and all that bullshit <laughs> fucking fucking penguins like that didn't happen that was that was i don't know what you talk about ma that's that's crazy <laughs> you know like so in denial i was like this character is fucking insane and it makes you wonder if penguin is just this fucked up and this corrupt what is it like dealing with someone like the fucking joker you know, if 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 we are dealing with the most scummest person, like the fucking penguin, what does that say for someone like the fucking Joker? All right, like like it is it is there levels to this shit? Because if this is extreme, this to me this is the most extreme shit I've ever seen. Like so unhinged on everything he does, and he talks and and moves like he's one of the people when he's absolutely not one of the people the only reason he turned on the fucking lights in the in, in the fucking destroyed poor neighborhood is because his fucking mom was uh, was sick and wanted wanted electricity on and also fucking his 
uh his he needed to get his drug operation started like to me that is all this bravado and all this talk he talks about he's the man of the people is total bullshit he's not one of the people in fact he kind of grew up like semi off like very like very good his mom his mom was able to pay bills and shit and had love for for his brothers and whatnot but oz is just a selfish individual and he and he's always like that you know i i feel like the only characters in this show that you can kind of root behind and, and it's so shocking is is uh vic and uh sophia's those are the only two that i felt like were worthy of sympathizing with and understanding because uh with sophia like yeah she's part of the falcone family one of the most notorious like crime family but you know only for her to you know stand up and talk to her father gets her punished and sends her to arkham and she gets get blamed for you know murdering all those girls when it was her father that did all that so she's so you feel for her you can you can understand why she feels the type of way how she does and you know in episode four when she kind of like does has a red wedding you know you could kind of get behind it but at the same time there's always that part of you that even can't even root for her that much because she dooms her only cousin to a life of pain and misery the same hellscape that she went through in arkham she's now gonna experience the same thing being an orphan and she knows that the orphan places are not are not clean or not as good as they should be you know she she should know that because she went to arkham arkham is a hell hellscape and so it, it's it's that realization that made me like damn like you want to root for her but also she's kind of like ah man like why did you do that like why did you do that it could have been a better op option only reason you kind of root for her because she's the only one that has sympathy you know she's the only one like at the end of that that scene when she's talking to her cousin and be honest with the cousin like she actually breaks down and goes into a panic attack or and gets emotional you know so you can sympathize but still she's still a questionable character you know Vic, like he is he is the play on the you know the fucking uh batman trope where batman always ends up getting a fucking sidekick because they're just stealing cars but now they gave the sidekick to the fucking villain and it's so interesting because vic is you know this kid who witnessed the events of uh, the Batman destroy his family and destroy his life, and he has nothing, and he seeks guidance, or is forced to seek guidance for someone he truly did not understand, you know? And the way how uh, Penguin and Vic's relationship is, is so beautiful. Like you, like, you really feel a camaraderie between those two, almost like a father and son and it's so well told and you could understand why Vic stood by um penguin through thick and thin through everything even when he had the opportunity to leave and penguin gives him the opportunity gives him and i would argue gives him this false opportunity to go and live with the girl of his dreams and whatnot but he knows vic knows in his soul that if he had went with her he would still be miserable he still wouldn't have what he wanted because he wasn't even happy when he was with his fucking family you know he wasn't even that satisfied when he was with his family so now you have you meet this guy who's promising the world and again he talks with bravado he talks about how he's one of the little people only for the final episode to remind you the audience and us and vic that penguin is a piece of shit and and the thing that shocked me the most wasn't even just him killing vic like that that was shocking but that wasn't as disturbing as him just 
looking at his wallet, taking out the money, taking his ID and throwing it into the ocean. It's it. Not only was it a play on their first interaction, which is he takes the he looks at the wallet and, and looks at the ID and he gives it back. But it was so disturbing because it it was it was almost like the penguin just looked at Vic as just a just a fucking throwaway toy. He's like, you serve your purpose. Thank you for contributing to the fucking to my empire now you gotta go get the fuck out of here and everyone i heard online is saying like oh well he 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 fucking he knew he understood that uh penguin's greatest weakness is that he can't even have a family around that family makes him weak and i'm like bros honestly that's some bullshit you know that's some bullshit the simple fact that he has a fucking penthouse and his mom is in a vegetable fucking state when his mom asked him to get rid of her when she becomes like that and he did not honor that just goes to show you how much he don't give a fuck about anybody he don't care and that is truly a monster this is a monster we're witnessing like that unhinged monster as much as he talk about how much he loves his mom and and whatnot it's all a facade he's only self-centered about himself this is truly the most evilest shit i've ever seen bro like and i'm just like by the end of the episode by the end of the show i was just kind of like sign where the fuck is batman <laughs> I need Batman to fling this fucking short motherfucker out a window or something. I need him to beat his ass. You know the fucking the beatdown that you do in the Arkham games? I need that motherfucker to do that. Like, son. Because I'm like, where the fuck was Batman when you needed this motherfucker? Like, and that's the only negative I have of the show is like Batman. Like, where the fuck is he? Like, Batman is not in this show at all. But the show is so good that you don't even need Batman. That's how fucking great the show is. In fact, I would even argue you don't even need to have watched the Batman to really appreciate what this movie, this show does because it's so well told. And I'm just like, man, like this is fucking genius. So like shout outs to everyone who worked on this show. You know, it's so good and, and it gets you prepared for the bat, the Batman. I cannot wait to see the Batman too, bro. <laughs> like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see those two interact and throw hands. So to wrap up this video, I'll say this. Uh, the Penguin is to me one of the true greatest uh, comic book shows of all time next to fucking daredevil uh next to i would say the watchman like this is like crim that a crim the greatest comic book show and it's only because it is unhinged and it is willing to go places that many other comic book shows or movies are are unafraid to do which is allow their villains to be villains not have them be anti-hero not have them have a little bit of sympathy or question their motives no go full tilt and let these guys be fucking monsters and the penguin is the most evil sadistic motherfucker and if he's this sadistic imagine imagine what the fuck is the joker two-face other characters in the matt reeves batman universe is because this is one of dick motherfuckers. And this is why Gotham needs the Batman. They need him desperately. Because this show shows you the fucking darkness of Gotham, of Gotham City. So beautiful. And I cannot wait for the Batman part two. I cannot wait. Matt Reeves and everybody. Let's fucking go. So let's give us that shit. Anywho. That's going to do it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy yourself uh stay tuned more videos are on the way a new mic is coming i i know i'm still handling stuff i just came back from japan so i'm a little still a little jet lag so please forgive me it's your boy mr degenerate signing out let me know what you think about the joker i mean penguin and as always 
stay tuned more videos on the way it's your boy mr generate signing out have a good one peace out bro shantani